Hello, I'm Ian, the Vicar of St Matthew's, Bristol, and it's my privilege to be sharing a short midweek thought with you this week. What does the word priority mean to you? As St Matthew's begins to pray about and rethink what it means to reach out to and serve children, families and young people, I'm reminded that last year our PCC affirmed this as being our key priority. A dictionary definition of priority is something that you do or deal with first because it is more important and urgent than other things. That seems obvious when you say it, isn't it? Doesn't it? What we are not saying, though, is that our care and love for those who are older is any less. That continues as always. We serve all ages. But what we are doing is honestly recognising the lack of children's family and young people in churches, in faith communities today. And our sense of urgency about this, our, our desire for this to be a priority that we respond to, doesn't come from simply a fear that the Church of Christ will be extinct if we don't do it. Remember that this is Christ's church here on earth and not ours. But our sense of urgency, our sense of priority, comes from a deep love and care for children, families and young people and our heart's desire to help them discover that Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life for them. We want them all to discover that Jesus is their rock and can be their rock now and for all their lives, on whom they can build their lives and their futures. We want them to know that Jesus is the living water who refreshes them day after day after day as they grow up and develop and go out into the world. We want them to know that Jesus is their path, that they can walk along, that they will keep them on the straight and narrow and beautiful way of God. We want them to know and experience Jesus as their shepherd, lovingly guiding them, looking after them, doing anything he can to protect them and care for them. That is why we care the children's families and young people. And that is why we care so much that not enough of them are having the opportunity to find out about faith and about the life-giving gift of Jesus Christ as their saviour. Psalm 139 is a well-known psalm in the Bible. And I'm just going to read a few verses from verse 13 to verse 16. A psalm of David. David writes in this psalm, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. God knows every single person, children's families and young people, from the moment we were conceived, before even we were born. And our heart's desire is that every age will know from birth the life-giving life of Jesus. And that life can be their life too. May I encourage you to join with me, not just in the St Matthew's Church community, but wherever you are, in praying for children, families and young people. And that the Holy Spirit will guide us, older ones, as to how we can nurture, care and encourage them to find Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. God bless you this week. Thank you.